Our cosmic backyard stretches far beyond the planets we know. The solar system extends well past the familiar planets we learn about in school. Many of us imagine the solar system ending with Neptune, the eighth planet from the Sun. However, beyond Neptune's orbit lies a mysterious realm filled with icy bodies and cosmic debris. This region holds vital clues to the early solar system and the formation of planets. Known as the Kuiper Belt, this area is just the start of our journey into the solar system's outer reaches. Picture our solar system as a sprawling city. The sun is the bustling downtown, while the inner planets, like Earth and Mars, are the busy suburbs. Traveling farther out, we encounter the gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, like sprawling suburbs with less activity. But our cosmic city doesn't end there. Beyond these suburbs lies a vast, sparsely populated area, the outskirts of our solar system. Here, we find the Kuiper Belt, a donut-shaped region of icy bodies orbiting the sun beyond Neptune. Exploring these regions is like traveling back in time, helping us piece together the story of our cosmic neighborhood. The Kuiper Belt, named in honor of the astronomer Gerard Kuiper, is a fascinating region filled with icy bodies of all shapes and sizes. These icy entities, known as Kuiper Belt Objects, KBOs, are ancient remnants from the dawn of our solar system, essentially the leftover building blocks from the era when planets were forming. The Kuiper Belt starts at about 30 astronomical units, AU, from the Sun, which is 30 times the distance between Earth and the Sun. It stretches out to around 50 AU, creating a vast ring of icy debris encircling our star. Unlike the rocky inner solar system, the Kuiper Belt is a domain dominated by ice. These icy bodies are made up of frozen water, methane, ammonia, and other volatile compounds that would be gaseous if they were closer to the sun. Some KBOs are tiny, just a few kilometers in diameter, while others are dwarf planets like Pluto, which was reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006 following the discovery of Eris, a larger KBO. The Kuiper Belt is a dynamic and ever-evolving region, constantly changing over time. Pluto, once the ninth planet in our solar system, is a gateway to understanding the Kuiper Belt. Its reclassification as a dwarf planet in 2006 ignited debates but also shone a light on the diverse array of objects in the outer solar system. Today, Pluto is recognized as one of many intriguing dwarf planets in the Kuiper Belt, each with its own unique story. Eris, slightly larger than Pluto, was the discovery that led to Pluto's reclassification, highlighting the complexity of our solar system. Haumea, with its unusual elongated shape and rapid spin, and Makamaki, a reddish dwarf planet named after the Rapa Nui creator god, are other fascinating Kuiper Belt residents. These dwarf planets, along with countless smaller Kuiper Belt objects, KBOs, offer a window into the early solar system. By exploring Pluto and its Kuiper Belt companions, we are unraveling the mysteries of our solar system's formation and evolution. In 2006, NASA embarked on an audacious journey with the launch of the New Horizons spacecraft, aiming to explore Pluto and the mysterious Kuiper Belt, venturing billions of kilometers from our home planet. After a nine-year voyage, New Horizons made its historic flyby of Pluto in July 2015, capturing breathtaking images and data that transformed our knowledge of this distant world. The spacecraft unveiled Pluto as a surprisingly complex and dynamic world, far beyond our previous expectations. Pluto's surface is a fascinating mix of nitrogen, methane, and water ice, featuring towering mountains, expansive plains, and signs of ancient glaciers. The mission also delivered the first detailed images of Pluto's five moons, including its largest, Charon. Yet, New Horizons' mission was far from over after Pluto. The spacecraft pressed on into the Kuiper Belt, where it encountered Arakoth, a smaller and more distant Kuiper Belt object, KBO, formerly known as Ultima Thule, providing unprecedented insights into this remote region of our solar system. The Oort Cloud, a mysterious halo of comets. Beyond the Kuiper Belt, stretching trillions of kilometers from the Sun, lies the enigmatic Oort Cloud, a colossal and spherical region filled with icy bodies, believed to be the birthplace of long-period comets. While the Kuiper Belt is a relatively flat, disc-shaped region, the Oort Cloud forms a vast, spherical shell that envelops our entire solar system. 
Imagine a giant bubble, teeming with trillions of icy objects, all held together by the sun's distant gravitational pull. The Oort cloud is so remote that no spacecraft has ventured close, and we have yet to directly observe any of its icy inhabitants. We infer its existence from the long-period comets that occasionally journey into the inner solar system, offering us glimpses of this distant realm. By studying these comets, we gain valuable insights into the composition and mysteries of the Oort cloud, a region that continues to intrigue and elude us. Unveiling the Mysteries Formation and Composition of the Kuiper Belt and Oort Cloud Both the Kuiper Belt and the Oort Cloud are believed to have formed from the primordial protoplanetary disk, a swirling mass of gas and dust that encircled our young sun. As planets took shape, their gravitational forces flung leftover materials to the far reaches of the solar system, creating the Kuiper Belt and the distant Oort Cloud. The formation of these regions involved intricate gravitational interactions and collisions among planetesimals, a process still under scientific scrutiny. The Kuiper Belt and Oort Cloud share a similar composition, rich in water ice, methane ice, ammonia ice, and other volatile compounds, interspersed with rock and dust. Despite our advancements, the Kuiper Belt and Oort Cloud remain some of the most enigmatic and least explored regions of our solar system. The Solar System's Outer Reaches Guardians of the Past Beyond the planets lie the Kuiper Belt and the Oort Cloud, vast regions filled with icy bodies. These regions act as time capsules, preserving ancient remnants from the early solar system, offering us a glimpse into its origins. By examining these distant areas, scientists uncover the processes that have shaped our cosmic neighborhood over billions of years. The Kuiper Belt, home to dwarf planets and icy planetesimals, reveals secrets about planet formation and the early dynamics of our solar system. The Oort Cloud, a vast sphere of comets, sheds light on the scattering of materials during planet formation and the long-term evolution of our solar system. These outer regions also influence the inner solar system, playing a crucial role in its ongoing evolution. Future Explorations Unlocking the Secrets of the Unknown As we venture deeper into our solar system, the Kuiper Belt and the Oort Cloud stand as gateways to new discoveries and insights into our cosmic origins. The New Horizons mission gave us an unprecedented look at the Kuiper Belt, revealing its secrets and mysteries. Future missions could send specialized spacecraft to study Kuiper Belt objects in detail, uncovering their compositions, surface features, and internal structures. The Oort Cloud, even more remote and challenging to reach, offers an enticing target for future exploration. Although sending a spacecraft to the Oort Cloud is a significant technological challenge, advancements in propulsion and remote sensing could make it possible one day. Exploring the Kuiper Belt and the Oort Cloud showcases human curiosity and our relentless drive to uncover the unknown. As we push the boundaries of exploration, we anticipate groundbreaking discoveries that will illuminate the mysteries of our solar system's final frontier.